a simple model to explain resonance amplification of building structures under an earthquake. My advisor generally used this model to explain in class. These are three models representing small, medium and high rise buildings. This model represents a short building with very high natural frequency. In other words, it have a very low natural period. This model represents a medium rise building and this one represents a tall building with very high natural period. In other words, it have a very low natural frequency. So if I apply an earthquake with very high predominant period, like something like this, you can see that it, it, it is only exciting this tall building and the displacement response of other two buildings is very low. You can see again. Since the high predominant period of this ground motion is matching with the natural period of this tall building, it is only exciting that building. If I apply an earthquake whose predominant period is matching with this medium rise building, it will only excite that one and the other two buildings will show very low displacement response as you can see here. So you can see that a slightly higher frequency ground motion is exciting this one. If I apply a very high frequency earthquake whose predominant period is matching with this short building, it will have more displacement compared to the other two buildings as you can see here. The displacement of short building is more than the other two buildings. So it means that depending upon the predominant period or frequency of an earthquake, it causes resonance amplification of only those buildings whose natural frequency is close to that predominant frequency. Now depending upon the site conditions and other geological phenomena, the frequency content of a ground motion varies when it passes through from one area to another. So it is very possible that a ground motion with a high predominant frequency is damaging to only short buildings near the source generating it. But the same ground motion can be damaging to tall buildings when it reaches to far off places because of a change frequency content depending upon the site and geological conditions.